Not sure if you can hear the blower in my room, but this thing blows all day from six in the morning to four in the afternoon. I mean, just, just listen to how loud it is. Yeah. Be strong. Be strong. Why hello educators, musicians, producers, music enthusiasts. My name is Mark and I'm from Modern Music University and this channel exists to help music teachers incorporate music production into the classroom. <clears throat> Alright, so first up, pardon the huge mess I got going on here. I'm in the process right now of moving my entire studio so things are a little messy, things are a little disorganized, things are a little cluttered, but you know, all good things happen in messes, you know. Creativity was built on messes. Write that down. Write that down. Last week's video, I talked about a huge game changer using the MIDI keyboard. How this tiny little device here can open up the possibilities for so many new things. Whether you want to do, incorporate a piano lab into your classroom, do some finger drumming, really just incorporate piano lessons, or just really have your students really feel like a music producer by creating their own melodies, their own chord progressions. This $100, $50 device, whether what, depending on what you get, is unstoppable. But today, we're going to open up the possibilities for even more amazing things by adding in another amazing tool. <laughs> right here, this, uh, this amazing tool here called an audio interface. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a tool or a machine that, uh, that transfers analog signal into digital signal. Basically just means that you can hook up a microphone or a guitar or any kind of you know, real instrument and have it go into your computer. So I'm gonna put two minutes on the clock and see how fast we can hook up our interface to BandLab. Let's go. Step one, plug the interface. Step two, plug it into the computer. Computer is going to automatically power the interface, so you don't have to worry about plugging into the wall. The computer does all the work for you. For this first example, let's hook up a guitar and see how fast we can get this to work. As you can see, super easy. Literally just plugged it into the computer and plugged in the guitar and it was ready to go. Let's try doing a bass. So you saw how easy it was for BandLab to recognize our guitar and bass using the audio interface. So now, let's go ahead and try to hook up a microphone to it. Now would be a good time to subscribe to the channel and to hit the bell notification. That way you'll be notified when there's a new video released. Also, please leave a comment and let me know about any other BandLab activities or lessons that you're interested in that you would like to see a video on. Thank you very much. Welcome to 1099 The Big Frog, the only radio station that's beyond the bandwidth of your FM radio station. We bring traffic and weather with you every four minutes on the threes, so we'll get you safe to where you need to be. Now, all kidding aside, this is an extremely powerful tool. Plugging in an audio interface to your computer allows you and your students to have much better audio than the built-in microphone to a computer. You can use this application in so many ways, such as if you wanted to just have a better audio recording for a vocal performance, or if you're gonna introduce podcasting into your curriculum, or maybe you wanna record your choir or band play in a concert, you could easily hook up the interface to your computer, then plug in two microphones to get a stereo effect and record your choir singing using BandLab's free DAW. The possibilities are pretty endless and having an interface allows you to level up your recordings. 
I'll leave some links down below of some budget-friendly interfaces that you can look into. That does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. It just turned off. Can you not hear it? Sounds amazing. Look at it. Like, I mean, listen. It turned off. Like, do you, can you hear the sound of it not blowing now? It's a it, it makes a huge difference, right? It's like the most frustrating thing in the world when you're just trying to teach and all you do is just hear this oh, sound constantly. Oh. Again, I know, I know. First world problems, I get it, I get it. But it's a problem.